Hi, I'm Martina Lanza and I'm senior lecturer at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland. But I also am uh, Italian, so I'm very glad to be back from some time in Italy and especially in this beautiful program that is uh, at the Venice International University uh, in this uh, very, very nice uh, location. Uh, so I am mm, trained in anthropology and history, but I have a PhD in uh, sociology and now I'm teaching in a political science department. So interdisciplinarity, I know what it is and I'm really happy to be in such a, uh, an environment which uh, promotes interdisciplinarity. Um, my actual work is about uh, pro-life activists uh, in Italy, so it is also for me uh, a way to, uh, to go back to my, my fieldwork, uh, which I hope can interest the students here. I will teach this year two courses. The first one is gender studies and we will focus about uh, gender and politics since gender studies it's quite a big field and uh, because it's my uh, field of expertise. So we will uh, deal uh, with issues like gender and voting, gender and citizenship, uh, gender and political participation, of course social movements like LGBT uh, social movements and uh, of course uh, questions of reproductive issues like abortion since it's my specialties. Um, I also have a second core course here which is identity heritage and globalization and since it is also a very big issue uh, it will deal more uh, about nationalism in a globalized world. So uh, I think it's a very particular uh, subject uh, for a, a very appropriate subject for an international class because of course the question of nationalism it isn't the same in the different location where the students come from so it will be very interesting to confront the point of view of the students on this issue. In the two uh, courses I try to uh, my, my te teaching techniques try to be very interactive. I don't like to speak alone uh, during the class. So we will discuss, of course, uh, texts and uh, articles, but we'll also use uh, first-hand data that the students have to bring into the class. For example, they have to do a little research on their country, uh, for example, how is the LGBT uh, issue in your country or uh, what national, nationalist issue are going on in your country and then we can discuss it in the class. So it's a very interactive way of dealing with students and also uh, a way of teaching that take research into account. So they have to do little, of course, small research and, uh, and they have to bring it in the, in the class.